How do? Time for another beer review. As it's Monday, we do Cumbrian beers on a Monday. Um, it's about time I got one of the most readily available breweries from Cumbria put up on the channel. So we're off to Jennings for Fine Line. Never had this one. Uh, it's a pale ale coming in at 4%. Uh, 500ml bottle. Um, so yeah, um, Jennings need no introduction. They are, like I say, the biggest real ale, probably cast producers in the area that I come from. Um, I've been on the brewery tour once. Um, it was all right. Didn't give us enough freebies, so it wasn't the best. Um, there's the crown. Looks quite smart, actually, the crown. Um, so yeah, we'll see what we get. I don't, I don't, to be honest, even though I live in Cumbria, um, this, the traditional pubs, some of the traditional pubs when you get in the lakes do a lot of Jennings, but the places that I go in don't really serve Jennings a lot. So, um, that's an orange colour, there's a bit of light, yellow light at the bottom, and the steady carbonation going up to uh, to the white head, let's get the nose. It smells a bit foisty, malt, not a lot, slight grapefruit, right, let's dive in, cheers. Mm. I'm picking up malt. Not like a heavily malt, but malt undertones, slight bitter finish, and very little else. It's pretty bland, disappointing really, probably the worst beer that I've had on the Cumbrian reviews up to date. Um, it's not doing a lot, it's really, really average. Um, it doesn't taste horrible, it just tastes very um, non-memorable, is probably a better way of putting it. It's just not doing a lot. Um, really bland. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Slight grapefruit finish. Hint. Very little flavour profile. Not a lot going on with it. Would I buy it again? No. Would I drink it again? Yes, because it's not. Um, it's not horrible, it's just doing nothing. So that, it's that, that's where it's at really. Um, pretty boring. Um, let's see what it says in the bottle. It says, fine line. The discovery of graphite in Cumbria in the 1500s led to the invention of the pencil, an innovation the world has drawn on <laughs> ever since. Fine line is our way of paying tribute and appropriately enough, it's HB, a hoppy beer. Oh dear. Uh, a vibrant tropical fruit and citrus notes derived from a, he a heady mix of new world and antipodean hops. Yeah, not really getting it. Pretty boring. Um, I think I picked this up in my local spa. You can pick it up, I think, in Home Bargains and B&M's. One of them definitely got one of these type bottles. Um, but yeah, pretty boring. Uh, yeah, cock them off, or knob and a gob as we call it locally, um, their finest, so yeah, um, yeah, I'm a bit disappointed with this one if I'm brutally honest, I just, you know, I, I do the channel to try and showcase the best of Cumbria, and yes, I needed to do a Jennings beer, um, we, I do live predominantly in the cask region, but I'm just really disappointed that you know, there's far better breweries out there in Cumbria, I think this is the biggest and yeah, I wouldn't say the best. So that's a fine line from Jennings. An inoffensive, pretty bland, very average pale ale. Thank you for watching and on to the next one. Cheers.